The third postulate of quantum mechanics is that any measurement of an observable property A will only yield eigenvalues of the quantum mechanical operator for A. So an observable property, we remember, is anything we can measure in classical mechanics, energy, position, momentum, etc. And the eigenvalue or eigenfunction, I guess an eigenvalue equation, would be this equation here. The operator A acting on our wave function is equal to a constant times the same function. So these, this value A here is some real number, typically, because an observable property, things like energy, momentum, position, those are typically real numbers. They don't have an imaginary component to them. So these eigenvalues need to be real. So this set of psi n, our wave functions, those are the eigenfunctions of whatever operator we have here, A, whether it's for total energy, kinetic energy, position, etc. And the set of the values A sub n, as I said, are the eigenvalues of the operator A, which correspond to a given eigenfunction. Okay, and we can only measure values uh, we can only measure values for that property that belong to the set of these eigenvalues for that operator. Okay, so if our wave function equals some eigenfunction, some specific eigenfunction of this operator, then the only value we can measure for that property is the eigenvalue of this individual eigenfunction. So we can't measure any other values. In general, as we'll see, our wave function can be a linear combination of these eigenfunctions. So it can be a sum over all of the eigenfunctions from 1 to n of some coefficient times the eigenfunction. And in this case, we'll only be able to measure values for the property A that correspond to this set of eigenvalues where this coefficient for that individual wave function or that individual eigenfunction are not equal to zero. So we'll see this later in the superposition principle and we'll also see how we get this restriction that these eigenvalues have to be real in the video on uh, Hermitian operators.